And that is why it must be understood that our language cannot speak to the totality of who God is. As a matter of fact, I would even make the controversial statement that God has a trans nature. Why would I say that God has a trans nature? Because when you look at the word Elohim, which is plural for the term God, that comes out of the Hebraic term that is a feminine pronoun, it means when you translate it into English, we always use male, but depending upon the situation, sometimes God has a feminine principle and sometimes God has a male principle, but we are always framing God one way, limiting who God can be. So I guess God has a trans nature because God, in the words of our ancestors, is a mother to the motherless and a father to the fatherless, a God who can transport, translate, transition, and transform. I guess God has some trans particular proclivities. 